Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime Fun with Letters, where every week we'll be learning about a new letter. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Alana. And we're so glad you could join us today. Before we get started, we want to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us at home? You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Everybody clap hello, now our song is done. Good job. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, Send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Now it's time to figure out which letter we're going to be talking about today. So our letter is hiding behind one of these books, but I need your help to help me figure out which book it's behind. Do you guys have any guesses where you think it is? I think it's behind the red one. Let's see if it's back there. Ready? We'll go like this. What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the red book? Then we'll count to three and see if it's back there. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, sneaky letter. Hmm, where could that letter be? How many books do we have left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? All right, which one should we try next? I think someone wants to try purple. Let's try purple. Ready? What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the purple book? Let's see, ready? One, two, three. Oh, sneaky letter. Where could that letter be? Hmm, how many books do we have left? One, two, three, four. Which one should we try now? Let's try the blue one. Let's do it. Ready? What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the blue book? Let's see if it's back there. You think it is? I think it is. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, sneaky letter. Where could it be? How many books do we have left now? One, two, three. Can you guys show me three? All right. Which one should we try now? Let's try the green one. Ready? What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the green book? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! We found our letter. Good job. Does anyone know what letter that is? That's right. This is the letter G. All right. How many books do we have left? Just two. What color is this one? Orange. Say bye-bye, orange book. Now how many books do we have left? Just one book left. What color is our last book? Yellow. Say bye-bye, yellow book. All right, stick around because we're going to learn all about the letter G today. Now that we know that we're talking about the letter G today, let's find out a little bit more information. All right, first we have our uppercase G that looks like this. And our lowercase G looks very different. It looks like that. And the sound that G makes is G, G, G. Good job. All right, let's see what I have in my box that starts with the letter G. Hey, Miss Silvana, you look a little different. Are you missing something? Yes. Mm, let's see if I have something in my box that might help you. I have some glasses. G is for glasses. Glasses. Ah, I love my glasses. They help me see. Is that better now? Yes. All right, good. Let's Thank see you. what else I have. I have something sticking out. Can you guys tell what it is? It is a guitar. G is for guitar. Guitar is an instrument and it helps us make music. Oh, how fun. All right, what else do I have? Ooh, I have some gloves. G is for gloves. Gloves. Gloves keeps our hands warm when we play in the snow. That's right. Too bad it doesn't snow here, huh? Yeah. Oh, I'll we'll have to go find some snow, huh? All right, what else do I have? Ooh, I have a green gift. Green and gift both start with the letter G. At the holidays, we love 
to give gifts to our friends and family. Yeah. All right, I've got one more thing in my box that starts with a G, and it is a gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. We love to decorate gingerbread men in the holiday. Sometimes we'll make little gingerbread houses with my kids. Yeah, our gingerbread cookies. Yes. It's so fun. All right, let's see what items you can find in your house that start with the letter G. All right, I have some gumdrops here and a gingerbread house. Gumdrops and gingerbread both start with our letter G. G is for g g gumdrop. All right, so I think our gumdrops would look really pretty if we decorated along decorated along the roof of our house with them. But I think we should do it in a pattern. What do you guys think? Now, a pattern is an arrangement of things that repeat in a logical way. So let's sh let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's see if we start with the blue one, and then we do an orange one, and then we do a pink one. So. Then, if we wanted to make it a pattern, we would repeat it. So next would come blue, and then what would come next? Orange, very good. So we do orange, and then pink, and then if we wanted to repeat it again, we would start with blue, and then what? And then orange, and what would come next? And then pink, and then what would come next? That's right, then blue again. And now we've filled up our whole roof with those beautiful gumdrops. Let's see if we can think of a different way to, a different pattern with our gumdrops. Do you guys like decorating gingerbread houses? I love decorating gingerbread houses. It's so much fun. We do it every year. All right, let's try a different pattern. Let's start with two orange gumdrops and then maybe two blue ones. Then how about one pink one? And then we'll start our pattern over. So what would, would come next? It would be two orange. And then what? That's right, two blue. So we'll do two blue. And then what would come last? That's right, one pink. Do you see our pattern? We've got two orange, two blue, one pink. Two blue, two orange, one pink. Do you see how it repeats? Let's try one more pattern that we can do. We'll take our gumdrops off. We'll put them back. All right, let's start with pink this time. Let's do one pink and then how about two blues? And one orange. And then we'll start over. So we would do one pink and then how many blues? What do you think? That's right, we'll do two blues. Two blues, and then what comes next? Pink? No, orange. Let's do orange. What comes after orange? Another pink, and then two blues. Awesome! And now we did a little practice with patterns. Thank you guys for helping me. We have a really fun song for you today about gum, and gum starts with our letter G. It's called Sticky Sticky Bubblegum, and it goes like this. You guys sing with us at home? You ready? Let's All right, go. it goes like this. Ready? Sticky 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 Bubblegum, Bubblegum, Bubblegum. Sticky 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 Bubblegum, sticking to my head. Oh, we're stuck. Trying to get it off. Pull, pull. Oh, all right. Where should we get stuck to next, Miss Silvana? Knees. All right, here we go. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, sticking to my knees. All right, good job. Now where should we get stuck? To our arms. All right, let's get stuck to our arms. Ready? Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, sticking to our arms. <laughs> All right, let's All do right. one more. What should we do last? Mm, our ears. All right, let's get stuck to our ears. Ready? 
Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Stick into our ears. Oh. Oh. All right, good job. That was so fun. Today for our home activity, we're going to be making toilet paper roll gingerbread men. G is for gingerbread. Alright, what you'll need is a toilet paper roll, some paper, brown would work or if you don't have brown you can use whatever color you like, and then you'll need scissors, glue, crayons or markers, and you can use buttons also if you, if you want. Alright, so to get started, first you're going to trace your toilet paper roll to make the head and then leave a cut a little tab out also so that you can use that to glue it so you'll trace it and then cut it out that will be your head and then to make the arms you'll take your brown paper again and cut strips strips off of it about like this and then you can cut those in half and then if you want to just round the edges for the hands and feet you can do that and then to get them like the little accordion you just fold them back and forth back and forth and then You've got your arm and arm or leg, and you'll need four of those, and then you just glue those on. And then for the face, I just drew eyes and a mouth, and I drew a little bow tie, and I drew some buttons, and I just used markers, and then I made some little lines on his hands for decoration. And you can decorate them however you want. Miss Silvana, can you tell me about yours? Yeah, that's such a cute gingerbread man. Yeah, it was really fun to make. Yeah, I made mine. I didn't have some brown paper, but I have white, so I can color it. So you can use anything you have. You can use markers, you can use crayons like I did. I had a little pink little piece of paper. I made a bow for my little gingerbread girl, and I have buttons. And I used them, and I just glued them in here. And made a little smile, her little pink cheeks. Just How be cute. creative. Yes, those turned out so fun. And then, as you can see, they sit right there on the edge. You can put them on a shelf, and they make a great decoration for your holiday decorations. So have fun and make your little gingerbread men. If you're looking for a new and fun way to get your little one excited about reading, check out Box Books. These are books that have an audio reader attached to the front cover and it's controlled by a push button, which allows your little one to listen and read along. It also has a fun chime that tells them when to turn the page, and they can even um, attach their headphones to it and listen to their story that way. So these are really fun books. The kids are gonna love them. They're really excited about them, and they're available at both of our Buckeye Public Library locations. And let me show you how to search for Vox Books on our library's website. All right, head on over to www.buckeyeaz.gov library. From there, you'll scroll down and click on the blue magnifying glass that says search. That will bring up our catalog and where it says quick library search, you can type in Vox Books, that's V-O-X, and hit enter. And that will bring up all of the Vox Books that we have in our library system. We have over 200 different titles. And then once you've found one that you like, sounds interesting, It'll tell you here system availability, how many we have. This one is zero of two available, but if you want to place it on hold to pick up, you can just hit place request. And then it'll have you type in your card number right there. And then your password, that will be the last four digits of the phone number that you gave us. And then just hit log in. And then you can choose which library you'd like to pick it up at. You can choose the downtown, the Coyote, or the Bookmobile. I'm gonna select the downtown library and then just hit Submit Request. Now your request has been placed. Once your item becomes available, we'll let you know. We'll give you a call or a text or an email to let you know that it's ready. And then just make sure that you check our website for current hours and services. So explore our box books. We have so many great titles to choose from, including fiction, nonfiction, and even some Spanish titles. Now it's time for our Storytime Star of the Week, where every week we want to feature one of you guys as our Storytime Star. This week's star is... Clara. Clara! Let's learn a little bit more about Clara. Miss Carly, Clara's favorite book is 
pow pow fish. Oh, how fun. Also, Clara loves to swim. All right, let's give a big shout out and wave to our friend Clara. Hi, Hi Clara. Clara. If you would like your child to be featured in our video as the Storytime Star of the Week, send an email to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Include a picture of your child, their favorite book, and a fun fact about them. Check out these books featuring our Letter of the Week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot of fun learning all about the letter G. And things to start with the letter G like gift. That's right. And make sure to join us next week to see which letter we'll be talking about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skin of a Rink. Will you guys join us? You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Skin of a rinky dinky dink, skin of a rinky do. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. 